hey 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 everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel so today i thought i would show you guys how um i use my water-based markers um and there are multiple ways that you can use them but my favorite way is to just um lay them down and put pencil over the top so i have here with me my um these are my Arteza Everblend Ultra H2O markers. And these are not the alcohol ones. Uh, the alcohol ones, I think, are just Everblend something else. But the water ones are the ones that says Ultra H2O. And they are brush tip and medium uh, chisel tip. And... They're like triangular shape and they have the color number on the cap and also on the marker. It's actually on both caps. So, um, I have, I do believe I have all the sets that were available at the time when I bought it. I also have my Arteza Twi markers or Twi markers. These are also water-based but these are brush and fine tip and they these actually have color names and numbers so here's what they look like and I don't have the full set of these I think I only have the 48 set which you know I was kind of kicking myself but that's okay and I also have my Faber-Castell pit um, pit pens. I don't know why these are upside down. Pit pens. Um, but for today, I think we're just going to stick with the Arteza um, markers. So I have the swatch sheets. And if you're interested, you can find these swatch sheets on my Etsy shop. I have a, the blank ones, which is what I used for my markers. But I also have um pre pre um filled out not the color but the numbers and the names are pre filled out for the um polychromos the prisma colors i think the ink tents the neo color twos the whole binds the light fast and the karen dash pablos i believe might be more but um that's what i can remember off the top of my head that i have up there but they are on my Etsy shop if you're interested. So I thought we would um, go ahead and I was working on the fruit page. This one here. And we did this one together on a live stream. And then I started basing this with my water-based markers. And I was like, well, let me show you guys how I do this. Um, so it won't be a long video. I'm just going to pick a fruit. And I'm just gonna color it. So I'm I'm going this way. So I'm just gonna color. I think these are grapes. I'm not sure what half of these things are. Um, they're probably not grapes. They don't really look like grapes. So I'm just gonna make them like a purple-ish color because I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, if you know what they are, let me know down in the comments. I've seen people color them different colors. So, I think there's a wide consensus of no one really knows what they are. So, I was thinking of green, green, like green grapes. Um, oh, no, these are the grapes. The grapes are right here. What is that? Should I just be safe and go with, like, red? <laughs> I feel like that's the safe color for, um, I don't know. I feel like let's just go with purple. I don't know what they are. Um, <clears throat> and it's weird because they have like these weird little lines or something. Or maybe we should do like an orangish color. But I feel like, I don't know. We can go with a peachy color since we don't know what they really are. Like a, like a melonish color. That might be a, a nice safe bet. Let's go with peach. So I'm going to bring out, um... I have this is my swatch sheet for my twee marker so I'm gonna use this peach color and if it's wrong that's that's fine we'll we'll be fine 
it's a coloring book so i mean hey so let me just find peach and i just have these like in a bag because um i don't have a lot of them so i figured the bag is fine okay so i have peach and i'm just gonna zoom you guys in i'm gonna do this like normal i'm just gonna move some things around okay so you guys can see and so i guess what i do is i try to move kind of fast so that i don't have any um splotchiness but what i like about the arteza markers both the everblend and these i don't get a lot of swatchy swat swatchy splotchy blotchiness um as long as the paper is pretty good paper i don't get that even if i go over it if i miss a spot and i go back i still don't get that and these are supposed to be blendable which i've not tried but i guess we can try today we can see so we can do like for the leaves um and I would assume we'd have to be pretty quick. So we can do like, I guess I can grab apple and emerald green. And we'll see just how blendable they are. I don't normally blend them, but I guess we can try it out. It's not gonna hurt us, right? So let me just find it. I should have some kind of a case for these. Uh, but there's emerald, but, um, I just, I don't know. I feel like I have enough cases around here. All right. So they say blendable. Now, I don't know what they mean by that. I don't know if I should do dark to light or light to dark. So let's do light. Let's do dark. It's probably going to be dark to light. Ooh, they do blend nice, though. Wow. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's do a small one. So I'm actually going to do... Here, you'll see. Um, actually, on a small leaf, I'm going to do a little bit of dark. Where I want it to be dark at. Now watch this. I'm going to bring some of that out. I can even get an even lighter green. What is this? Neon chartreuse. I can guess we can do chartreuse. Hey, the chartreuse didn't blend too well, but... Oh, yeah, it is. It's blending now. Okay. So... They do actually blend pretty well. Um, so for the small ones, I guess I will add in the chartreuse. So let's try, um, let's put the whole color down this time. Because if I can get away with blending these. We're going to put it, and I would assume just like alcohol markers, you probably got to work a little bit fast. So it might be a little bit messy. Maybe. But it can definitely be done. As you can see. And with all of that, it still didn't go through. Nope, no bleed through. So that's pretty neat. That's good to find out. Um, I guess, I mean, that kind of, def well, it didn't defeat the purpose of the video, but um, my purpose was to show you how I use them. But now I don't know, I might use them this way. So I'm just gonna color this one. 
and we'll we'll compare it. We'll see. Because with the marker, it didn't take that much time, but with pencil, it's definitely going to take a bit. Especially the way I color. So, we won't do this big one. We'll do the little one over in the corner because I don't want this to be a long video. And I wonder if I go over it with the chartreuse. Can I blend it that way? Or do I need this darker one? Yeah, I'm probably going to need the darker one. Apple. Because it's not going to blend like that. Yeah, there we go. Wow, okay. Learn something new every day, especially over here on my channel. That's actually kind of really cool. Um, with that darker one, it's starting, you can see a little bit of a shadow, but it still didn't bleed through. That's neat. Okay, but we'll, since the fruit is already dry, I guess I can show you guys how I use them on the fruit. Because I'm having a little bit too much fun with this one here, and I think... The shadow for this one would be like something like that, maybe. And then I'm just going to come back in with this one and go over it. Okay, well, let me know in the comments if you guys knew about this and didn't tell me you guys are hiding secrets. <laughs> okay, um... I wonder, I kind of wonder if, I mean, I guess the Everblends would be blendable too, right? Since they're called Everblends. Let's see. Let's grab, let's do, because I mean, look at that. Um, The blend is beautiful. Let's do the leaves on the lemon. Or we can do the leaves on this thing. Um, Let's grab... I can do like this green. That's probably too dark. Let's do 408 and 604, 600, 603, and 60. And these don't have um numbers on them. I mean letters, names. My gosh. So we're gonna do 604. 600, or is that it? 600, here it is. And 105, which is a little strange, but we're going to go with it. If I can find it. Not 105, 301. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. So, here we go. So let's do dark to light first. I'm just, um, I feel like I need to take the caps off of these. Okay. So here we go. Let's do dark. We've got the dark color right here. And these are a bit firmer, too, than the other ones. Oh, my word. Not that I'm putting on my enabling hat or anything, but if you ever wanted to blend with water-based markers, I think this is it. Right here, these two. Now, let's do light to dark. Oh my gosh. You guys don't even know how this is making me feel right now. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. Because normally, I'm telling you, normally I just put a base down. And I mean, I would imagine that you probably can't do this with... What in the world is that noise? 
Okay, that was strange. I would imagine that you can't do this with any water-based marker. I'm not sure. But, I mean, shoot. Look at this. Be quiet. And I don't know what it is either. Where I'm in the dark, just like you. Um, check that out. That's all marker. So, I mean, yeah. That's a good way to do it right there. Well, I guess I will do another part showing you exactly how I color with them. Um, but this is how to blend water-based markers by Arteza. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.